Today on Inquire. Expensive oil spilled over to food prices in May and brought headline inflation to a 42 month high of 5.4%, the government reported on Tuesday. Ang dahilan ng mas mataas na antas ng inflation nitong Mayo 2022 ay ang mas mabilis na pagtaas ng presyo ng food and non-alcoholic beverages. Ito ay may 4.9% inflation at 70.1% share sa pagtaas ng pangkalatang inflation sa bansa. As of end May, inflation averaged 4.1% above the government's 2-4% target range of manageable price hikes conducive to economic growth. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. spent more than 623 million pesos for his campaign in the 2022 presidential elections. Based on Marcos Jr.'s statement of contributions and expenditures, presidential campaign expenses were at 623,230,176 pesos and 68 centavos, which according to his camp is still within the 674 million limit. The document likewise showed that Marcus Jr. did not have any expenditures paid out of his personal funds and resources. His camp explained that what was spent for their 90-day national campaign were the cash and in-kind contributions that Marcus Jr. received, which amounted to 624.6 million pesos. Based on the SOSE, Marcus Jr. received cash contributions from other sources amounting to 373.25 million pesos and in-kind contributions worth 4.2 million pesos. Marcus Jr. also received in-kind contributions from his political party, the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas, amounting to 247.234 million pesos. The government's pandemic task force has allowed all establishments in areas under Alert Level 1 to operate at 100% capacity as long as proof of full vaccination is presented especially in indoor establishments or mass gatherings. Pinayagan ng ATF ang full 100% capacity sa ilalim ng Alert Level 1. Ngunit kailangan magpakita ng katibayan ng full vaccination bago makasama sa malawakang pagtitipon-tipon o papasukin sa indoor establishments. Octo Research marked a slight increase in the reproduction number of COVID-19 cases in Metro Manila. Octo Research fellow Guido David said the current reproduction number in the National Capital Region has increased to 1.24 as of May 31 to June 6 compared to the metropolises are not of 1.08 from May 24 to 30. And ZR remained under the low-risk classification. The positivity rate also slightly increased from 1.5% from May 24 to 30 to 1.6% from May 31 to June 6. Still well within the World Health Organization's ideal positivity rate set at 5%. An alleged spokesperson of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, East Asia, was killed in an operation in Maguindanao on Monday afternoon, the military reported on Tuesday. The joint military operatives conducted a special operation on Monday at Datu Saudi Ampatuan town in Maguindanao, leading to the death of Abdul Fattah Omar Alimuddin, also known as Abu Huzaifa, according to the Armed Forces of the Philippines Western Mindanao Command. Aside from being the spokesperson of ISIS East Asia, Abu Huzaifa was also alleged to be in charge of the financial transactions of Daula Islamia Philippines to the ISIS Central. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle released a photo showing their daughter Lilibet celebrating her first birthday in a backyard picnic over the weekend. Lilibet, Diana Mountbatten Windsor, was born in California and was named in honor of Queen Elizabeth II, whose family nickname has been Lilibet since she was a child. The family who live in Montecito, California, were in Britain last week for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And that's the latest news today. For more stories, visit inquiter.net.